y'all deja here and i came because abraham hicks just got me all the way together <laughs> if you don't know about abraham hicks it's actually this woman whose name is esther hicks um and she channels an energy that she refers to as abraham and abraham is just this channeled guidance that talks about the law of attraction and a friend of mine named Sabrina had put me on to Abraham Hicks years ago when we were briefly roommates. And ever since then, like, it really has been one of the keys in unlocking uh, this better life that I found myself living. This, this ideal dream version of my life that I'm getting to experience. Thanks very much. So because of what I've learned about the law of attraction and because of what I've heard from Abraham Hicks. So recently abraham had really gathered me uh had gathered me all the way up because i was listening <laughs> and she was talking about how humans we we say we want unconditional love right we say that we want to be loved unconditionally and that we're capable of unconditional love and these types of things and yet as soon as a condition that we don't want appears to us we are immediately like you know for the most part, we like hate to be under that condition and we no longer experience love under that condition. So that's not unconditional love. Like an example is feeling like you need the condition of having money to be happy. But in reality, you have to still be happy despite the condition of having money or not. And then by being in that state of happiness, naturally you're going to attract things that make you happy, which can include the money coming in. So it's like, rather than focus so much on that condition, focus on what you wanna feel unconditionally. Focus on being unconditional love, loving unconditional, the state of being and not being worried about exactly what's going on even right now. Like, even if it's not going exactly how you want, like don't even focus on that, focus on feeling good. She talks a lot about the path of least resistance. What is the path of least resistance that gets you to feeling good? You know? So yeah, that really had gathered me because I was like, wow, that'd be me. Like I'd be thinking like I can't be happy until certain conditions are met. And I'm like, what about unconditional love? What about unconditional acceptance? And then as soon as I get all of my joy and I'm just like, I'm just so happy, then life just, provides it just provides everything i could ever need or everything i could ever want not always exactly when i want or how i want but it's always happening so i just have to stop worrying so much about it because <laughs> the worry literally pushes what i want away it pushes what i deserve away because i'm vibrating at the frequency of lack and fear rather than joy and acceptance <laughs> So yeah, that really pulled me all the way together. I was like, get it together, Deja. Your minds, stop with the negative thoughts. Cause I do be worrying. I do be in my thoughts a lot. I do be like hyper fixated on what is when it's not what I want it to be and trying to change it by looking at it. And it's like, stop looking at it. Just focus on what do you want to feel? I just want to feel secure. I just want to feel safe. I just want to feel free. I just want to feel comfortable. And then I just let myself feel those things despite the condition. And then suddenly the condition changes anyway. And it's always changing. So as I'm riding this wave of life, I just need to be enjoying the ups and the downs. <laughs> and all the movements. All the movements. And I just, I'm just sending that out right now. That's why I made this video. Just sending that love, acceptance, accept what is radiate love your joy <laughs> is the key to everything you could ever desire coming in thank you for listening <laughs> peace y'all